Preseason fantasy football powered by testosterone. I'm Jeff, your host. I'd like to thank Zach Miller for being with me today. A little writer's profile. Everybody watching this, you're checking it out on Zach's writer's page. Look just down below and you'll see his rankings. Zach, we want to discuss that just a little bit. I know you put a lot of effort into it. Tell me, my friend, what, what did go into your rankings this year? Well, the thing I do with my rankings is one thing that really annoys me with some of the rankings I, that I look at and pass is people tend to do rankings based on last year's performances. What I tend to do is what I think is going to happen the, the upcoming year based on numerous things. You know, players get new opportunities with new teams. Um, guys like Michael Turner, I mean, he's a backup, now he's a starter, so obviously he's going to raise in my rankings. Um, the way a uh, player end, ends the season before, like the way – Maroney into 2007 is a great example. I think he's in for uh, a big season with New England. I mean, the team scored uh, more than any other team, but it just seemed like it took him a while to really get mm -hmm. in the mix. And they were using, like, Maurice Morris and Heath Evans on the goal line. But at the end of the year, you really got to see Maroney in the game, and he performed very well and produced. So Yeah, and you should be on fire here to start the next season. I'm, I'm hoping so, so. Well, I definitely noticed that you had, you had one player uh, ranked a little bit higher than a lot of people probably will right away. That player is Houston Texans quarterback Matt Schaub. Tell me uh, specifically, Zach, what went into your selection of Matt Schaub at number nine? Well, to me, it just seemed like Matt Schaub, you know, him and Andre really got a big rapport for the first, like, four or five weeks, and Andre kind of went down, and then Schaub had a couple of nagging injuries, and he got sacked a few more times. Um, so hopefully with a little bit of upgrade at their offensive line, which I think they're going to do, and I think they're going to try and get after a uh, running back in the draft. And with a more powerful running game, I really think he can steadily produce, and him and Andre will have another year under their belt. I really think he could be – a top 10 quarterback. He has the, the smarts that a quarterback needs yeah. and just kind of that it factor that I think a quarterback needs. Yeah, top 10 quarterback, you're going to be able to get him much later than top 10 value were to suggest. So keep an eye on that sleeper. Uh, one last thing for your writer page, Zach. Uh, what can the junkies expect for the preseason fantasy football on your writer page? Um, well, you can keep, uh, as of now, you can keep looking at um, my mock draft. I have a mock draft article on the home page. Uh, feel free to send me emails at um, Zach at testosterone um, sports .com. If you have any feedback on my mock draft, um, positive, negative, I'll take whatever you got. Um, and I'll look the update in that a couple more times before the draft happens. So um, keep looking at that. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for checking out. This is Zach Miller. This is his writer's page. And uh, we'll be back with more stuff, as always, on Testosterone Sports.